Welcome back to Lavender Recap. In today's video, we'll be going through an American sci-fi and horror movie from the year 2011 titled The Thing. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. It's 1982, Antarctica. A signal is being followed by three Norwegian scientists in a snowcat across large and mountainous expanse of snow. They came to a halt and fracture in the snow ice dumps the snowcat into a fissure where it becomes trapped. Snowcat's headlights shine down into the crack revealing a spaceship. Sander, a Norwegian scientist, meets with Kate Lloyd, an American paleontologist, and informs her that they have discovered a structure in an organism persuading her to travel to Antarctica. Kate and her colleague Adam board a helicopter piloted by Americans Carter and Jameson to the Norwegian camp in Antarctica. They reach the camp and meet some other Norwegians, namely Edward, the camp's leader, and Lars, a mechanic who owns an Alaskan Malamute and is the only one who doesn't speak English. Kate and Adam, as well as their Norwegians, board a snowcat and travel to the site, where they have a clear view of the ship's top in the ice. They show Kate a strange-looking organism frozen in ice at a distance from the ship. Back at camp, they plan to remove the organism, which they estimate will take the better part of the day. The organism is extracted from the ice block and placed in a wooden room back at the camp. Sander informs the team that he would like to collect a tissue sample first, which Kate objects to because they need to sterilize the area and take additional precautions. He warns her from questioning him in front of the others. They pierce the ice with a drill and extract a frozen flesh sample from the organism, which they place in a petri dish. Later, while partying in the camp's rec room, the entire team discovers that they have discovered aliens. In the meantime, the ice block is melting. While everyone is having a good time, a scene pans to an Alaskan Malamute in its cage, barking and attempting to escape. Jameson exits the bathroom and enters the area, containing the ice block. Lars frightens him by saying boo from behind him, and then he walks away. The unseen thing suddenly breaks free from the ice and leaps through the ceiling. Jameson dashes back to the rec room, where he informs the others that the thing is still alive and has escaped. They all enter the room and notice the ice block with a hole left by the thing after he escaped. Sander tells the groups to split up into twos and threes and look for the thing. One pair visits the dog kennel and discovers a large hole in the wall filled with blood and fur. Henrik and Olav, two Norwegians, spot the thing under one of the buildings. The thing resembles a huge beetle in appearance, being slimy with several carb-like legs, a massive mouth with giant teeth, and tentacles when first seen. One of the tentacles bursts out and pierces Henrik's chest, drenching Olav in blood. The thing then drags Henrik back beneath the structure and begins to devour him. They all hurry for Olav, who yells. They start shooting at the thing with their guns, but it has little effect except for causing the thing to jump inside and climb up the building it was under. It's doused in kerosene and set on fire by the team. The thing collapses to the ground, Henrik still dangling partly out of its jaws. When the crew returns inside, they're all in a stupor. Olav is receiving treatment and appears to be quite sick. Carter informs the crew that he will return with Olav to civilization in the morning because he requires medical assistance. Being scientists, they dissect the thing's remains from Henrik's death and find the upper half of his body, with Kate remarking that his skin appears to be nearly new. She also notices the titanium bar implanted in his arm to fix a fracture was left outside his body. As they examine the thing's cells under a microscope, they discover that the cells are overtaking and duplicating Henrik's cells. Kate is in the bathroom the next morning as Carter and Jameson prepare the helicopter with Olav and another Norwegian, Griggs, to take off. She notices something bloody on the floor and picks up four bloody silver dental fillings with a napkin. When she checks in the shower, she notices a lot of blood but no body. Carter notices her calling out to them and decides to land. Olav inquires as to what is wrong with him as he appears to be in bad shape. Griggs assures him that everything will be okay before ripping in half and exposing his chest to unveil tentacles with rib-like teeth. Olav is attacked by Griggs, who has been cloned. Kate and Sander stand there watching as the helicopter loses control and crashes behind the mountain, killing all four people on board. Sander inquires as to why she attempted to stop them. When the team returns inside, Kate tells them about the cells multiplying and how the thing is capable of perfectly replicating any organism but isn't able to recreate inorganic things such as metal teeth fillings and Henrik's metal plate and rejects them. No one believes her, so a few members of the squad board a snowcat and travel to a nearby Russian camp for assistance. Juliet remains behind with Kate and informs her that she saw Colin, another team member, walking out of the bathroom with a cloth. Juliet says she knows where the keys to the snowcats are and Kate tells her they need to stop the crew from leaving. They enter a room, and Kate hears a slimy noise from behind her while she searches a drawer for the keys. Juliet is splintering in half. When Juliet, Thing, tries to attack her, 
Kate bolts from the room and down the corridor, passing another Norwegian and telling him to flee. Adam and Lars enter as Kate closes the hallway door. Lars is equipped with a flamethrower pack. They let Juliet in and she absorbs the man she assaulted. Lars set fire to Juliet, Thing, and the other Norwegian. The team gathers around Kate who informs them that the Thing is similar to a virus. Anyone who receives blood or a portion of the Thing cells on them is apparently absorbed. So they decided to perform a blood test to see if anyone is infected. As they return, they notice that a section of the camp is on fire and so is the lab. They then notice Jameson and Carter approaching them from afar. They couldn't have just walked away from the helicopter disaster, so everyone assumes that they are thin copies and locks them up. As the crew begins to accuse one another, Kate takes out a flashlight, checks Lars' mouth and sees that has fillings in his teeth, so she informs the team that the thin copies will be devoid of fillings. Now except for Sander, Edward, Colin and Adam, who don't have any fillings in their teeth, everyone is ruled out as a suspect. Meanwhile, Lars and another Norwegian, Jonas, arrive at the location where Jameson and Carter are being held, but they're not there. Lars continues on the hunt for them and rushes inside a building where he's dragged inside. Jonas returns to the others to inform them that Lars has been killed by Carter and Jameson. When Carter and Jameson enter the building, they engage Peter in a fight. Behind Peter, the remainder of the crew hides. Edward orders Peter to assassinate Carter and Jameson. Jameson shoots Peter in the head with a gun just before Peter uses his flamethrower to blast them. But the gun also hits the flamethrower tank, causing gas to flow out. When the gas reaches the flame on the flamethrower's end, it bursts. The blast knocks Edward out and seriously injures him. Carter and Jameson acquire an unexpected advantage because they have all of the weaponry. They herd everyone into the recreation room where two Norwegians carry Edward. Edward's arms detach from his body and morph into miniature crab-like monsters, one of which attacks Jonas but Kate uses the flamethrower to kill both of them. Still, Edward Thing grows new limbs and legs and creeps over to Adam, causing their faces to fuse together. Meanwhile, Kate uses the flamethrower of the dead, Jameson as Colin flees into the property amid the pandemonium. Kate and Carter are on the lookout for the Thing. Sander is hiding behind a desk, but the Thing discovers him and assaults him. The Thing follows Carter into the kitchen, but Kate uses the flamethrower just as it's about to strike Carter, causing it to burst through a wall and tumble to the snow outside burning. As the Sander Thing is seen fleeing in a snowcat, Kate and Carter board the other snowcat and join Sander on his journey to the spaceship. Kate concentrates on Carter's left earring as they leave. Carter also informs her that Lars was not killed. They approach the ship's open hatch and get inside. Kate arrives at what appears to be the ship's energy source. As the Thing drags Kate out of the tunnel, she puts the grenade in the Thing's mouth, which explodes, destroying the Thing as well as the ship's energy supply. Kate chooses to remain outside the snowcat and tells Carter as he gets in. Back at the camp, you know how I knew you were human. Your earrings are beautiful. Carter no longer wears earrings. Kate douses him with a flamethrower and flees to the Russian camp. We cut back to a helicopter landing at the camp in between the end credits. Colin is sitting at the radio, dead and frozen. He slit his own throat as well as his wrists. If somebody is around, the Norwegian helicopter pilot screams out and a pistol fires at him. Lars is the lone survivor who hasn't been infected. Lars then tries to kill the Alaskan Malamute that leaps out of a damaged window. Lars yells at the helicopter pilot to get in the helicopter since it's not a dog. The movie ends as Lars and the other Norwegian pilot chase and shoot at the dog from the helicopter, as in the original 1982 film's opening sequence. How fascinating do you think this movie is? Comment below!